I hope that my future is very bright, especially in my career as a footballer. I want to have a different lifestyle and make my family and others proud of me. I only have one aim in life, and that is to be a professional footballer. A lot of things have been said and written about you. If you had a word to describe the Marcus Rashford story so far, what would you say? I'd say different. I think people come up in different ways now. And, you know, the way I've came up is similar to a few, the way a few people have came up in the past. So, you know, Rooney came onto the scene um, kind of all at once and scored a couple of goals. Um, Owen, there's a few English, English strikers that have that have kind of come up in that fashion. For his age, where do you place the talent? I think his maturity is the thing that stands out. Where you benchmark that against others at a similar age is, is always difficult. I think he's still physically maturing. So one or two young players that have burst on the scene are almost men at 17, 18. He, he has great physical attributes, but one of the reasons we didn't take him with the under-21s this summer is that he's still filling out and you can see he's growing again over this summer. So um, I still think there's there's more potential in him um, as opposed to what we've already seen. In a word, sum up that goal on your United debut. Amazing. I was Even though it was a simple goal, it felt like I'd scored the, the best goal I've ever scored. So it was, it was a feeling that it never... Every, any other goal wasn't the same as, as that feeling and the same with the, my goal at my England debut as well. Every other goal, it's, it's not the same. You don't get the same feeling when it's a, when it's a debut. Here's Rashford. How many minutes into the match was it? Yeah, I think it was like two, two or three minutes into the game. Into the path of Sterling. Might come for Marcus Rashford! If you're good enough, you are old enough! When it's that fast, you don't have to you don't have to think about it so much. You know the the, the actual finish itself. You don't think about it, so it just happens naturally. And it's England history because he is the youngest player ever to score on his debut for England. It was, it was a proud moment for like me, and my family, because okay, the, everything happened with United, but then you know you hear people talking about England, but you don't take much notice of it. And then when it actually happens, it's an amazing feeling. So, talk me through that. This is something that I wrote in, I think it, that's just when I moved school. And, and just read it out if you can, because those are great words. Um, it says, I hope that my future is very bright in and out of school, especially in my career as a footballer. I want to have a different lifestyle and make my family and others proud of me. I only have one aim in life, and that is to be a professional footballer, and hopefully at Manchester United. What do you make of the young man who wrote that? It's the same person. <laughs> I know, but he's achieved a lot. The fact that you wrote that then obviously suggests what do you think about your character? Well, I've always knew what I wanted and it's just about like getting it's the difficult thing and there's a lot of ups and downs on the way but whether it's been an up or a down I've always been like honest with myself and clear to myself that that's where I wanted to be and where I wanted to get to. It's just to show that it's possible like this is just my, my school in in Northern Moor and you know the normal school kids go there I went there and it's just to give people like that and people around the country like that hope and um, no matter where you come from, it's everyone's, everyone's made out of the same stuff and, you know, anything's possible. What was driving you? Here. What was um, driving you? What, what was pushing you on? My biggest drive when I was younger was, was probably my family and, you know, my mum was... We all lived with my mum, there was five of us just with my mum. 
and she had to she worked a full time job and then we was at home with my brothers all the time and they was looking after me. So a lot of my determination when I was younger was purely based off my family and just the love for the game. Um, and that probably remained the same until until now. It's the same same thing that drives me on and what, what makes me want to achieve more. An eleven year old with a dream. What does that tell you about his personality? Well, I think focused. Um, uh, also, I think it, it, you know I've, I've met his family, very supportive family, um, in in the right way. So prepared to not just pat him on the back and tell him how well he's done. And I'm sure there would have been opportunities when he was younger to be at other places other than the club he's at. Um, but I think they've made good football decisions and they've always encouraged him in, in the right way. And very often if you look at the family around a, a player or any young sportsman, can tell you a little bit about the athlete that's going to come through the door. You say you haven't changed, but so much has changed around you. How do you marry that, if you like? Because the, the actual person is still the same. Like People will tell you, like my friends, I'm the, the exact same person I am. I was then, I am now, so a lot, I know a lot of things have happened like in the background of stuff, but you know, me and my, my family and my brothers, we've seen people get it all and get it taken away, so we, kn we know that we can't, can't take anything for granted and we can't let that happen to us. We saw the list at 11. Now, at 19, what are you write down? What are you saying to yourself, I need to achieve? There's things that, you know, it's been a good start to my career, but there's things that we've still not done. We've not won the league. We've not won the Champions League. And the, I'm sure if we can ever win a World Cup, we have to build, we're not going to win it overnight, but we have to, we've got a good baseline and, you know, we, we've got a young team and we can build on what we are now, we just have to take it step by step. Patience is still important because you don't just get it overnight, so we have to take our time and you know just keep progressing. I like his humility. I like his desire to improve. He has to keep doing that. He's already won trophies, which I think is an important step for a young player. But he's always got to keep challenging himself. And um, I've, I've no doubt at all, having worked with him, that, that that is what he'll do. On future aims for Marcus Rashford, it would be written... Premier League, Champions League, World Cup. You know, you never stop dreaming, no matter how old you are. I don't think them dreams ever kind of go away, they just change. Keep aiming high. Good man. Good man. Thank you.